Hey, what's up guys? Joe here. Today, I'm going to show you how to fix an iPhone 7 and an iPhone 7 Plus. I'm actually going to be working on a 7 Plus, but I'll work through the differences between the two. They're very similar. Um, yeah, so let's get started. Now, as always with any repair, you'll want to power off the device if possible. Use your pentalobe screwdriver and remove the bottom screws. These screws hold down the screen. Now with the 7s and 7 Pluses, they do have a waterproof strip around the edges of the frame. So you'll need your heat gun. Just add a little heat around the frame, soften up that adhesive. Use your guitar pick to get in between the screen and the frame and work your way around separating the screen from the frame. You wanna work up each side. Now the top has a different kind of clip that slides into the frame like that. So what you'll have to do is work the frame out and down. This is the 7 Plus. The iPhone 7 is the exact same so far. We're gonna remove the shield plate that holds the battery connection and the screen connection. And then the shield plate that holds the front camera and earpiece speaker. Both of these are Y-bit screws. If you're doing the iPhone 7, this shield plate for the front camera will be Phillips head. Now on the shield plate holding down the front camera, one of the screws is a little bit longer than the other two. So you'll wanna keep up with where that screw goes. If you have the iFixit repair kit, the driver set comes with a lid that you can separate the screws to keep up with which goes where. And I recommend using that to your advantage. Now first you'll wanna disconnect the battery and then you can disconnect the screen and the front camera. I'll take my plastic pry tool and I will remove all of the old waterproof adhesive. That way when we're ready to add our new adhesive, it'll be clean and ready to go. Now with our frame nice and clean, we'll set that aside and we'll begin removing the components from the old screen. I'll use my Y bit to remove the shield plate that holds the home button down. All of those screws are the same, so you don't have to worry about getting them mixed up. On the 7 Plus, there's a Phillips screw right here holding down the shield plate to the screen. That screw is not there if you're on the regular 7. Otherwise, the rest of this repair is the exact same. The screws for the front camera and earpiece speaker are all different sizes, so make sure you use the iFixit lid. I'll remove the earpiece speaker and disconnect my home button. The home button is glued down to the frame, so I'll use the heat gun to loosen that adhesive. I'll slide my guitar pick under the home button and then pop the home button out the front of the screen. Now this is why I recommend that you buy a new front camera when you're replacing the screen on the 7 Plus because just underneath are solder points. And as you can see, I've already separated the solder points. It's very easy to do on the 7 Plus, so it's just a lot easier. The cameras are just a couple of dollars. You wanna line up the two negative spaces beside the copper contacts with the two nubs on the phone. Push down the microphone onto the adhesive on the new screen. You'll fold the ribbon cable over and you'll install your sensors into their proper locations. I'll put the earpiece speaker in, fold the camera over, Hold the ribbon cable down and get the shield plate to hold them in place. Grab the five Phillips screws and seat them back into the shield plate. Peel the plastic up on the new screen and slide your home button into place. You'll want to make sure that you don't have any of the gasket that seals the home button in place pinched in the frame. Put the home button ribbon cable underneath its attachment on the screen and then connect them together. Put the shield plate, yeah that's right, the plate. Put the shield plate. <laughs> Put the shield plate back on the home button. Don't forget about the Phillips screw down here if you're doing the 7 Plus. All right, the new screen is ready. We'll set it aside now. We'll grab the frame to the phone again. We'll grab our new adhesive and we will put that on there. If the adhesive comes up with the plastic, it's okay. That happens all the time and it's really frustrating. You just have to slowly work it back into place. First, you'll want to reconnect the front camera. Go ahead and plug in your battery and then see your LCD and digitizer into the board. 
Before I put everything together, I'm gonna turn it on and check and make sure the screen works. Three hours later. Home button works, screen works. Go ahead and put the shield plate in for the battery. There's three small screws on this shield plate and then there's one long screw. Now don't forget which one is your long screw for the front camera shield plate. There we go. Now remember we have the flanges that have to slide into the frame. So we'll slide those in. I like to push the bottom of the screen in and then work the middle in. That's just the way I do it. Some people like to work all the way down the side. There we go. Now I'll use my pentalobe screwdriver and install the screws that hold the screen in place. And there you have it. All right, there you have it. That's how to repair the iPhone 7 Plus and the iPhone 7. Um, I've been getting a lot of questions about that, so I thought I'd make a video. Please like and subscribe. Leave a comment down below. Any questions you have or if you're looking for a repair on a specific phone. Um, yeah. And thanks for watching again, guys. See you next time. Peace.